Hey, what's up, you guys? What the? Oh, snap. I definitely don't need this. Thank you, God. Christmas is over. Bye-bye <gasps> now. Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Who Gave You the Mic. I'm your girl, Nati Patrice, also known as SD, also known as Patience. But that's all another story. Now, I'm just going to warn you guys right now that this video right here, I may lose a couple followers. I may lose a couple fans, a couple friends, as well as family members, and gain a couple new foes. Because this video right here is dedicated to none other than Beyonce. Yes. Now, it's been two weeks. Since her latest album has came out, you know, the one that had no promotion, no advertisement, no marketing, just came out, no word of mouth, everybody was like, oh my God. <laughs> This video is the reasons why I cannot get on the Beyonce bandwagon. You remember that song with Kimbra and that Goye, Gote, Gote guy? Yeah, that one, somebody that you used to know. Boy, I love that song. But Beyonce has that about her. She reminds you of a certain girl. And not just any girl, that girl from high school or college that every girl wants to be like and every guy want to be with. She has everything from the nicest clothes, the best grades, the bomb boyfriend. Look at her, she really does have it all. She's beautiful. She sings, she dances, she writes her own songs, she acts, she's a fashion designer. Okay, those last two, let's kind of erase those off of it. But you get what I'm saying. The girl's everywhere, and sometimes that can be really obnoxious. Oh my goodness, really obnoxious. You really obnoxious. My second reason why I can't get on the Beyonce bandwagon is because there has been numerous of times, numerous occasions, where they have linked her to a certain devil-worshipping organization. Yeah, you know which one I'm talking about. The one with the lights and the goat and, and all that stuff and the diamond and the eye and the left side and yeah, all that. You know which one I'm talking about. And she has not once cleared that up. Now, when people were talking about that she was wearing a fake belly, that she wasn't pregnant, she had a, a, a surrogate mother, Beyonce stopped that with the quickness. She came out in her bikini, she had pictures, all this different stuff. She made sure that people stopped talking about that she did not have her child. But when it comes to her faith, since the girl ain't said not a darn thing, I wish somebody would say, now Tia Patrice don't believe in Christ, cause Lord knows everybody on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Keek, Vine, YouTube, everywhere. Everyone would know that's not me. I believe in Christ and that's not how it's gonna happen, okay? Beyonce has not handled that and I can't respect somebody who allows others to downplay their religion. The third reason of why I can't get down with Beyonce is due to the fact her stands. Oh my goodness. Now, if you really wanna know what a Beyonce stand is, I wanna direct you to this video right here. Now I just came across this video and thought this was a perfect description of a Beyonce stand. They're ridiculous. They act like nothing in the world exists. It's mind blowing. This video is pretty funny. It, it really is, and I loved it. I even subscribed to the channel because it was so funny. It got it point blank, period. But her stands, they seriously have issues. I have seen memes of girls putting, like deleting their Bible app. I have seen people place Beyonce's face over white Jesus's face. I've seen people like with prayer hands, like lifting up Beyonce Jesus or whatever they want to call it. To me, that's blasphemy. I'm not jumping on that wagon with you. I'm not drinking that Kool-Aid with you. And I'm not jumping over that bridge with you, baby. So what do you guys think about the whole Beyonce finanza? Do you agree with my points? Do you disagree? 
comment below. Mic check me if you will. I ain't got no problem in it. Also, if you have not checked out my blog, you can check it out right here. Yeah. Also, check me out on all the different social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I have them all. And while you're at it doing all that stuff, subscribe to my channel. You guys have just tuned out of Who Gave You The Mic. I'm your girl, Nati Patrice, and I will see you later. You know what I'm about to say. I holla. Peace. For you guys, I wanted to do something a little bit more child friendly. This definitely is not Santa Baby. Or All I Want For Christmas Is You. Yeah. I mean, Baby Olivia is really cute.